I'm so excited, you guys. Today we are doing a home movie theater. This is the first time that we have done a home movie theater. And also, huge thank you to Norton LifeLock for sponsoring a portion of today's episode. We will be getting into that in more detail a little bit later. But first, we have to go check out this movie theater because there's a lot to do in there. That's right, we're at the LeBrant Films. Hey guys, I'm Savannah. And I'm Cole. And we're the LeBrant Family. So we've been talking with Mr. Kate about a few rooms in our house that we're gonna be collaborating with them on. And the movie theater is the one that we're so, so excited about. The movie theater recently has kind of been like my man cave per se. This room could be so cool and it's just not. It's not. You guys saw us in the previous episode, Makeover the Nursery. If you haven't yet, you can check that video out after this episode. And how we described it when we first met them, it was like the nursery is where they're welcoming a new family member. And in the movie theater, they are all enjoying the space as a family together. So these two rooms are really important to this family. We took them very seriously. The designs are just so fun. They're both so different. So you guys are really in for a treat today. All right, so before we get into the episode, you guys know the drill, or maybe you don't, because maybe you're new to this channel. If you're new to this channel, hi. Welcome. Uh, we're the Creative Weirdos here, and we do all kinds of fun creative projects. So make sure and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Yep. And also, if you're over on Instagram, why don't you give us a follow? Yeah, but first, we have to go check out this movie theater because there's a lot to do in there. Like, the before is very different from the after, you will see. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Hello hey, everybody. Everyone. All right, we wanted to jump in here quickly because obviously we filmed this video before Baby Z was born and he has now since been born. So welcome Yay. Baby Z. We unfortunately have heard the news that Baby Z has been spending some time in the NICU. So we just wanted to take a moment to really quickly acknowledge and send our positive love and energy and please ask all of you at home to do that as well so that he gets better soon and comes home to enjoy his nursery and the movie theater and obviously for them to just enjoy it as a family because that is the point of these interior designs is the deeper meaning of families being able to enjoy the spaces together. So baby Z, come home soon, get well soon. We love you Savannah and Cole and family and sending you strength and love. Hopefully everyone enjoys this episode and it brings everyone positive vibes. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get into it. Enjoy. All right, so you guys remember we came to the LeBrant fam's house before the pandemic hit, yep. and they showed us their current state of affairs in their movie theater. We're excited to be here. Yeah, where are you? Show us your space. Yeah, I know. All right. It's the movie room. To say. Okay. Nice. Yeah, movie theater chairs. It doesn't feel like a movie theater. Yeah. Like, you almost want to be able to leave your house when you come in here, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> I feel like it'd be super cool if we did, like, layered. Right, you know? build a tier. Yeah. Stadium seating. We have a vision for it, like but carpet. I don't know. just something yeah. that in reality, honestly, without your guys' help, I don't know if we would have ever done. Just because like we Wait, probably would have been like yeah. content enough and gotten so used to just like we got chairs and a TV. And you have crushed ice. Is that what that is? Crushed ice. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. Exactly. I love crushed ice. Yeah. So would you want the theme here to be like more traditional movie theater? Yeah. Like you were saying, like carpeting, so. yeah. cozy. Yeah. For like acoustic. I also like even like movie posters on the wall, like make it really. Yeah. Cool, you know. It'd be cool to make like movie posters with you guys as like the. Songs. I thought you were gonna say that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so movie theater, awesome. And then the pandemic happened, and as you guys saw it in the nursery video but we'll just remind you in this video we are taking the safety precautions while shooting there very very seriously for the safety of them the safety of our crew and of course the safety of us we have the hallways taped up with plastic we have our own if entrance door we have to our the own movie entrance to the movie theater, theater. that come that you get in from the outside which is great and we're making sure only two people are in there at a time so that they're able to social distance all of that so just know we are doing this safely as you're watching from the safety of your couch. We're doing the best we can. Yeah. All right, we just got 
to the LeBrand's house to work, and there's currently a pig. Oh my god. In the pig. What the heck? <laughs> it's a pig. I know. He, Moon has just been quiet the whole time watching this pig. Excuse me, we gotta pull these floors up. You wanna help? Joey, we can't leave this door open. Joey! Joey, get the pig! Joey, the pig's escaping! Wait, don't cross over our. Okay, uh, pig? How do I call a pig? All right, so this room was a, uh, I think it was almost like an add-on for this house, and. Yeah, it feels like it was maybe like a garage at one point. Yeah, there's some then... funky things going on in there, but yeah. they turned it into their home movie theater. Yeah, this room you can access from the main house, but there's also a separate entrance to it. There's also like a sink and countertop in there, so not sure what it functioned as before. The main thing that I told Savannah when we were brainstorming like ideas for the space is I was like, I would love to be able to take out those chairs. like. You know, they can sell them, do whatever they want, but because as a family they want to enjoy this space and those seats are all individual seats, I think it'll be so much more successful to bring in some sofas and some chaise lounge chairs to sit oh, in. Some chaise? Some chaise so that they can cuddle. So we might be doing some chaise cuddling instead of some rug cuddling today. But we also have a wall to wall carpet to install. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get into the room. Okay, so looking at this blank slate of a room, white walls, laminate flooring, we gotta get this red theater with a California chic twist going on in this blank room. So let's take out those chairs. Let's build a new riser for the back row of seating. Let's bring in some wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, some red grass cloth wallpaper on the walls, paint out all the trim red. Let's take out the upper cabinets from that kitchen area, paint the lower cabinets a dark gray, paint the ceiling the same dark gray. Let's bring in some cozy seating, some couches in the back, chaise lounges in the front, some velvet curtains, and then we are going to build a custom frame for the TV. We're gonna bring in some custom lighting. Our electrician's gonna install some for the sconces on the wall and some custom movie posters. Oh, and then of course, some poofs, some throw pillows, some popcorn, and some side tables. All right, so we gotta get the floors out of here. So they had a laminate floor in here. The reason you can't put carpeting on top of laminate flooring is because your carpet tack strips might not stay. So we gotta get the laminate floors out of here and then we'll see what we're dealing with with the subfloor. I'll get it started and then you can take over and I'll get the cabinets out with the tag team. Cool. room. What was this room? And it's like the shiniest tile you've ever seen. The good news is you can install carpet on tile. Lots uh, of blue. Yeah, you use an adhesive. All right, so we're going to get all this flooring out of here. We're going to keep the vapor barrier just where the riser portion is going. And we should have no issues with this subfloor. So we're good to go. quickly tell you about our sponsor for this portion of the video, Norton Life Lock. You all have seen us on our journey as we bought our first house and turned it into our unique cozy home. After all of that saving and sweat, your home is likely the biggest asset you own and there's a ton of important things you need to keep track of. Maybe most importantly, your home's title, the official document that identifies you as the homeowner. Identity thieves could potentially access your title and take out a loan and lien against your home and jeopardize your home equity all without your knowledge. We've had identity theft before and it is such a scary and annoying thing to deal with. No one can prevent all cybercrime, but we try to take precautions to stay protected in our connected world and want to keep our properties safe, but it's hard to keep up with the ever-evolving cyber threats on our own. That's where Norton 360 with LifeLock Ultimate Plus comes in. Not only does it include device security, identity theft protection, and a VPN for online privacy, but it also helps you protect your home title with the home title monitoring feature, which monitors the county recorder's record 
concerns and notifies you if any changes are detected related to your home's title so that you can take necessary action to protect your home. Our homes are one of our most valuable assets and keeping our investment secure is so important. You can sign up today for Norton 360 with LifeLock Ultimate Plus all-in-one membership for only $29.99 a month and hopefully you'll sleep a little better at night knowing that you're that much more protected. Thanks again to Norton LifeLock for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Hopefully you will find their product helpful. Now let's get back to the decorating. All right, so also in here, we are demoing out the upper cabinets for this little kitchenette they had. It reads too much like a kitchen right now, and they don't need a kitchen in there. There's not really like dishes and stuff that they need to store in there, and anything that they do want to store, they can do in the lower cabinets. All right, so we're building a riser in the back quarter of this room. It's gonna be enough room to put the couches on, the back row of seating. It's just gonna make this movie theater feel that much more custom and like it's meant to be a movie theater. They also wanted to have enough seating for their like extended family because Cole has a big family, they all come and visit, and it's gonna be such a much more pleasurable experience if it's raised up so they can actually see over the heads of the people in the front. All right, so for the riser project, we're basically building the world's largest step. I'm basically gonna build two rectangles. They're gonna be connected to the wall where the studs are. And then in the framing of the riser, we're gonna also add sound dampening insulation to just help with uh, the sound in the room in general, but also the sound of walking on the riser. And then on the top, we're gonna do two layers of three quarter inch plywood. And we're gonna have the seams in the first layer be covered by the second layer. And we're leaving an inch lip in the front because we wanna run lighting under it. So it has that nice like step lighting look. I'm so excited about that. Joey's working on getting the framing and stuff in. I'm at home with Moon and my sister and we're putting together a kit for the LeBrants because we always love to do a project with the YouTubers that we work with on these OMG We're Coming Over videos, but because of social distancing needs, we are not going to be able to do this together with them. So instead, we're prepping with clean, sanitized hands a basket of various candy and fun little like movie tickets and all of that. There's no candy worse than <laughs> Oh my gosh, sound off in the comments. What's your favorite movie snack? Let's do a thing where we go, what's, cause I know okay. what yours is. And you tell me what mine is. On the count of three. Mine? One, two, three. Milk Duds! <laughs> Second choice. One, two, three. Uh, junior Milk! <laughs> oh yeah, Junior Milk! Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, so one, two, three. Junior Milk! Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're putting together a kit of all these candies and basically give them assignments to put together their ideal little like candy pack. We've got other cute things like the movie tickets and little labels and stuff like that. Put one in your hand, you ready to go to the movies? You've never been to the movies. There you go. Now that I think about it, all of the like, <laughs> Holiday. So now that this kit is pulled together, I am dropping it off at the LeBrant store, wearing my mask, my hands are sanitized, all of that, and I'm just leaving it there for them so they can work on putting their kits together. We'll pick it up after they're done to make sure that the candy bags are waiting for them in this space when we reveal to them, but they have to keep their tickets because if you don't have your movie ticket, no entry to the reveal. Sorry, keep those in a safe place. watched the nursery reveal, which you should, it was amazing, but we could not do the DIY project that they gave us for that one. Oh, oh. shoot. Oh. 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 Okay. okay, wait, how do you paint a circle? Because then you have to touch it. Mom! She just dropped the white paint on the ground. It was just 
We're just not artistic whatsoever. Okay, well that, uh... Okay, that, that didn't work out. Yep, yeah, but, but, but here we go, but. check it out. Personal movie treat kit. Essentially the project was just a big old bucket of candy <laughs> where they wanted us to get our bags and fill the bags with our favorite candies and a ticket that we're gonna take and uh, put somewhere before we can get into the room. Oh, oh my goodness. Are we allowed to eat some? Oh my goodness. Yeah, because there's so much. Love candy. We love so candy, This, this so. is easy and fun for us. We we could do this one. Everly really loves this project. <laughs> Whoa, you like Twizzlers, huh? No, not really. <laughs> no, not really, as I just got said. <laughs> and seal it with a twist. All right, our candy bags are done. You guys try and guess which one is Everly's. Okay. Thank you guys, and we are excited for the reveal soon. I got chocolate on my face. We've been eating. We've been eating. Good morning, everyone. We are back at the LeBrant fam's house today. We have a lot to do. We're just working on getting those base cabinets painted, getting the walls prepped, because we're going to do some really cool wallpaper in there. We also uh, had the electrical put in. I'll just show you guys, let's go. So in here we're preparing for the new lighting. So we put in junction boxes on the wall for these wall sconces. The riser turned out really great. Super easy, super sturdy. A double layer of three quarter inch plywood so that way it can totally handle the weight of two full couches plus a bunch of people on it, no issues. Then over here, obviously we took the cabinets off the wall and then we're patching those holes, smoothing it out. And then we gotta figure out what we're doing with the TV. All right, so the riser's done, the electrical's done, the walls are all patched, sanded, dried, and ready, ready for wallpaper. ready for wallpaper. Okay, so guys, I'm so excited about this because this is where we are bringing in our beautiful red color, but with a California twist. And what is more California than the texture of grass cloth? All right, guys, I am here in the movie theater room and it is so taking shape because the wallpaper is going in. It's so gorgeous. Let me just show you up close. Grass cloth wallpaper is so beautiful because it's actually made from natural fiber. So there's like a gradient in color and also bonus because it is like a fabric type material, it is sound dampening. So it's gonna create the optimal movie watching experience. All right, since we have this gorgeous, opulent red going on the walls, we cannot, I repeat, cannot leave the baseboards and the doors and the door molding white. Nope. Like, that would be such a tragedy. So of course we have to paint it a beautiful red. The key is painting any kind of door or baseboard or anything like that that might be glossy is to either give it a really good sand or use a really good primer that's meant to adhere to glossy surfaces. We've also painted the ceiling that nice dark gray. And the base cabinets are going a little bit darker shade than the ceiling color. We don't need them to be like the star, so we kind of just want them to blend in. All right, so let's talk about the floors, guys. We are bringing in some lush, plush carpeting underfoot. So we chose this beautiful light tan carpeting. I wanted to bring in a different color than red underfoot, because again, we're going with a little bit of that California vibe. But because it's such a deep pile of carpet, it has that ability to have like a change. It almost looks like velvet. Like when, when it's one direction, it's like a little darker. So it just looks really inviting. <laughs> Sconces are in. So movie posters are an essential part of kind of like the movie theater experience and we didn't want to do just generic movie theater posters of already existing movies. We wanted this to be a departure, a fantasy. Well, if you remember when we first went to the LeBrant family's house, we talked to them about how cool it would be to do movie theater posters like featuring them. Featuring them. And I think Savannah was like a little skeptical of that because like obviously that could go like super cheesy but we wanted it to be very kind of stylized. So we're bringing in a little bit of an art deco influence. We worked some magic on the old Photoshop, adding layers and text for the titles and the subtitles, very like how you would see a vintage movie poster. In particular, we wanted them to be of things that the girls and Savannah and Cole as a couple like. So I texted Savannah, I was like, what are your hobbies? What are the things you like? And she said that they love Hawaii, Everly loves to dance. 
there's horses and ponies in their neighborhood that they live in. So we did Everly as like the dancing detective. We did Posey as Posey and her pony. And then we did Savannah and Cole as the lovers in Hawaii. But of course, made sure that Baby Z was represented in Savannah's belly. So this is how big the TV is, 41 and a half. Mm -hmm. And if we want it framed, it's gonna be like more like 44. All right, so let's talk about where the actual movies are gonna be shown. So they actually already had a 82 inch television. And the reality is, is TVs are so high tech now that really you're gonna get a better picture quality in a room like this out of a really nice TV than you would out of a projector. So we're gonna keep the TV, but we need to somehow elevate it to be like movie theater worthy. Totally, we need it to be more substantial to just look more custom and built in. So Joey's carpentry skills are very well honed at this point and I think a custom frame is gonna be the perfect thing. All right, so to build this frame, I'm first gonna actually mount the TV on the wall because I need to make sure I'm getting the exact measurements of how far off the wall it's gonna stand. And then I'm just gonna build a rectangle around the TV and then I'm going to cover that with a chair rail molding and it's just gonna make the frame of the TV disappear and also make the TV feel like sort of a built-in feature on that wall. So the other thing is, is if you are gonna frame a TV, you gotta make sure and think about ventilation because TVs need to have airflow to keep their electronics cool. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating ventilation holes on the bottom and on the right side because those are the two sides that you won't see. And then it's just completely vented on the top. So this is gonna have plenty of airflow, but none the wiser when you're looking at it. It just looks like a completely solid frame. We're gonna continue our play with this red theme and we're bringing in a velvet curtain. So I'm just gonna do some curtain rod hanging magic. <laughs> You're and very good at curtain hanging. Thank you. Rod hanging. Magic. We're actually leaving their blinds that are already there, so they basically have a double layer of light filtering slash light blocking. And it's really nice because their roller shades are a shade of gray, so we sort of like justified leaving those as well in a design sense. All right, so we gotta get all the big items in, the couches, the chaise lounges, and you gotta get it styled, and we gotta reveal this to them. I know. Ah! Epic wall of couches. Oh my gosh, this tone on tone of red in here is like, <laughs> It was really important to me that we keep playing on the different shades of red. So as you'll notice, the shade of red that the sofas are is a little bit different than the shade of red in the wallpaper. And I just love this look because it creates layers. Rather than everything being so matchy-matchy, it ends up looking much more designed and luxurious if things are slightly different. This, this is like a unique Catch. twist. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Catch. Joey! Hey. The are so coming. Poof! Joey, stop! No, seriously? I was the target in dodgeball. Poof! Bring that bad PE memory. You actually caught a lot of those. Yeah, because my life depended on it. Right? Poof! Because we love poof! <laughs> They're all on their flying. Put, 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 poof! <laughs> We're literally drowning in pillows and spoofs. Spoofs? We're literally <laughs> drowning in pillows and scoots. Scoots? <laughs> Joey is losing it. We're literally drowning in pillows and poofs. Thank you. I mean, All right, these, now we need to throw pillows. We're getting goofy here. These sconces are amazing. Those sconces just bring in so much. They're those beautiful kind of old school looking sconces with the brushed gold, the beautiful globe. And then of course we have the old movie posters. I mean, they're gonna be able to have like everyone in here at the same time, like their extended family, their friends. And it's gonna be cozy, so, like they're gonna actually be able to cuddle. I mean, this is night and day between what they had in here before. I mean, totally. Speaking of cuddling, let's get the chaises in place. Chaises? Chaises. Got it? No. <laughs> no. Switch me sides. Okay. Got it? No. 
So in front of the sofas, we have two four foot wide chaise lounges, so two people can comfortably. I mean, lay you on could, these. the whole LeBrand family could honestly fit on one chaise, probably. Yeah, it might be a little bit of a pile, but a cozy pile. Let's see how many Mr. Kates they can fit. Oh my God, definitely two Mr. Kates. How about any Mr. Kates and Joey's watching the movie? Open up your arm. Oh my God. <gasps> So comfy. Wait, these are so comfy. I want one of these. I know, I do. And they're also easy to clean. And we have two of them. Oh my god. <laughs> this one has all of the throw pillows on it. Ample walkway here. Pillows. Oh, Joey. Pillows. I'm over you, Joey. Pillows. 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 I hate this game. Poofs are essential. Throw pillows are essential. We have to just add that much more coziness to these sofas. And we've got throw blankets. Obviously this is key for a home movie theater because you get to be in there and cozy under a blanket, cozy up with all the beautiful throw pillows. So obviously this makes it feel a lot different than just like a general movie theater you would go into because there's not a lot of movie theaters out there that have throw blankets. So over in the kitchenette area where we took out the upper cabinets, we put in some just square black frame shelf thingies. Yeah, they're little, they're just called little cube shelves and these are meant to be little display shelves which is exactly how we're using them because you know when you go to a movie theater like the snack bar, that's like a crucial part of the movie theater experience. The crucial part is going in and seeing the displays of the snacks because they get your mouth water. I know, so we are doing just that and we've got his crushed ice machine and then on the other side of the sink we have a quintessential item for movies. Popcorn machine. <gasps> Had to have a popcorn machine. They didn't have one before. We have one now. It's one you can run and make fresh popcorn. So of course we've got the popcorn around. We've got those cool old fashioned striped popcorn containers. Of course, I'm making sure to bring in their candy bags that they put together themselves. So I'm placing these around on the trays so that basically we can reveal this and they can like immediately watch a movie in there. I'm so excited about this reveal. I'm obsessed with this room. It's so cool. Like this room could not be more different and it's also so very specifically like classic movie theater feeling. So I really hope that that's what they are hoping for because whoa, is this an extreme transformation. Oh man, about are you to ready? Go into the movie room. Ooh, I'm, I'm so, so pumped. excited. I'm so pumped. So excited. Today's the day. I really have no idea what to expect. Zero expectations. I mean, if it's anything like the nursery, then well, and we I'm love blown away. we love this room. Even though it wasn't decorated, we were still in there all the time. It's our so hangout this is spot. like our hangout room. So we're super excited to be back in it, and it's just gonna be awesome. All right, so you guys know that it's the pandemic right now. We're trying to be as safe as possible. Um, we have our UV wand. We have our sanitizing wipes. We're just cleaning everything up, and then it's time to reveal. We're gonna actually stand outside. Normally we. Would would reveal it with them yes. in the room, but because we're trying to be extra safe, uh, we're gonna actually just stand outside and be on FaceTime with them and we'll watch on the monitor while they see the reveal. Yep. All right, we're rolling. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Are you guys ready to see your movie theater? All right, all right. Do you, do you Wait, remember what it looked what, like before? Yeah, what did it look like before? All right, on the count of three, you're gonna go in, okay? okay. Wait, wait, you guys have your tickets? You need your tickets. Okay, okay, good. All right, put your ticket. tickets put in. Put your tickets in. And go check out your movie theater. Yay! Open the door. Oh, oh my God.
Rose and the Dancing Detective. <laughs> Saving the world one hiking at a time. <laughs> the tale of love, adventure, and a baby, all on the island of Hawaii. <laughs> Our favorite spot, and they look, you're pregnant. That's so cute. <laughs> the lights on this here. This is like cool. a real movie room. Look at the outline of the TV that they did. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I need to like look at all the details. It actually now. looks like yeah, a movie. Like, yeah. oh my gosh! Oh <laughs> my gosh, guys, this room. This is crazy. This is the coolest room in the house, and so I feel bad crazy. saying that because I don't want to diss Baby Z's room. I mean, <laughs> Baby Z's room. Well, his the nursery, kids' rooms, they're all cool. They're but cool. This room is fun. This, this is, is the fun room. This is the room that like all of our friends are gonna want to come hang out in. Oh, I love this. We're gonna be in here all day today. And so the wallpaper is grass cloth. So like the oh. whole movie theater now is acoustically set up. This is what I wanted the most, is a, is a rise. This is so cute. then, yeah. and, 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 and the new like, room we had. Theater lighting on the walls. Mom, I told you it's going to be red. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did you guys put in this wall, this wall switch? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we, and we put in all those sconces on the wall. Oh, this is look at the they even painted the ceiling. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and we've got your custom candy bags in there, so thank you guys for oh, yep. adding I see those. those. There's these nice big bag right there. Yep, nice and ready to go for you guys. An actual popcorn machine. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Look, I, I love, I'm I love popcorn. Baby Z's room. I love it. This it's is the best. favorite by far. This is my new favorite room. I know that this was like a super weird experience that we we like sort of avoided working together. But, but our spirits connected over so many text messages <laughs> and like it was so fun working with you guys even though it was semi-virtual. Oh yeah. yeah, it was so much fun. We're so excited. I'm blown away. It was so fun. You guys are incredible. You guys are awesome. so good. I can't believe this is our room. We need, to, we need to do this again because now these rooms don't fit the yeah. house. When's our next collab? <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Mr. Kate's team. We're just so appreciative of everything that they've done for our house. It's so much fun. Um, we know this is a crazy time right now just with everything going on and they were so good about the strict precautions that they had throughout the whole time that they were here. We um, honestly didn't even really know that they were here because they blocked, know, it, they off. blocked it all. They They were masked. I saw his hand sanitizing machines outside the doors. Thank you guys so much. They were great. All right, all right love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you guys so much. Bye. 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 Oh, wow. This is awesome. Can we stay in here for a I'm gonna stay in here forever. They love they it. They love it. I mean, Cole is saying this is his new favorite room. Like, he's not going to leave. I mean, I love this room. I am I'm obsessed so with this room. glad. It's such a departure from the rest of their house, which obviously normally an in interior design might not be a good thing, but because it's a movie theater, it's so specific. Yeah. I think it's really cool that it's a departure. Well, this, and this room is sort of like down a hallway, like in its own section. So yeah, like you've got the little shadow box outside. They're going to walk in and just be able to totally escape. Like be able to go to a movie without having to go to the movies, which frankly right now during the pandemic is perfect. Thank you LeBrant family for trusting us and thank you also for being willing to dive in to the classic movie theater look like when Savannah approved to do a red theme in there. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun and I'm so glad that they think it's as fun as we do and I hope you guys too. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in. And obviously if you have not seen the nursery episode yet, go check that out. Oh, it's out. good, it's really good. It's so good and we obviously have so many more episodes of OMG are coming over. We have 39 other episodes of OMG are coming over, which is our series where we make over YouTubers places. And then on top of that, we have like 300 other makeover videos. <laughs> yes, so where we go and make over. Please stick around, binge, your hit that subscribe button, turn yeah. on the notifications. And follow us on Instagram if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff and also some inspiration photos for your own pinning and saving needs. Also, if you're already subscribed to our channel and you want even more, you can also become a member. Hit the join button. It's 99 cents a month. Links in the description or hit the join button on our on our homepage on YouTube and we do vlogs, 
behind the scenes photos, all kinds of Discount stuff over there. Discount codes, so yeah, all of that. Join that membership. Speaking of members, <gasps> let's give a shout out to our Rainbow member, which is our sponsorship level membership, to Rena Pierce. Rena Pierce, thank you so much. We love you, thank you so much for supporting us. We see that paintbrush. We really, really appreciate your super sponsor support and it means a lot. So virtual hug. Huge thanks to the LeBrand family for having us into their home. They're great. Go check out their channel if you're not already subscribed. Yes. And I think that does it for today's episode. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you. We love you so much. Stay creative. Stay weird. Stay you because I not. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Cole. I'm Savannah. And we are so beyond excited to be working with Mr. Kate on the room renovations of new Baby Z. All right, so here's the design plan for the nursery. We are bringing in a wainscoting, nice and high on the wall, painting it a beautiful, darker color. We are doing wallpaper above in a beautiful print. We're bringing in a rug. We're bringing in a crib. We are bringing in a dresser. We're bringing a beautiful rocking chair in in the corner. And of course, adding some lovely curtains to the windows and some lighting to top it all off. Now, you guys, remember what the room looked like. Do you remember what the room looked like? Oh yeah, so, so bad. Go check out your new nursery. Go check it out. One, two, three.